Hello everyone, in this video we will go over FortiGate SSL inspection feature and show why it is so important to enable SSL inspection in today's world where more than 90% of web traffic is encrypted. So without wasting much time, let's take a look at FortiGate SSL inspection security profile. FortiGate performs SSL inspection of outbound traffic originating from users destined to the internet as well as inbound inspection for traffic destined to the internal server hosting applications. FortiGate also supports multiple SSL certificates for inbound inspection to protect multiple applications. SSL profile provides the flexibility on how to handle blocked and untrusted SSL certificate. Security admins also get the option to configure specific actions for certificate SNI check mismatch or even if they want to enforce it or not. Here you can also enable SSL protocol and cipher compliance as per the global settings configured on the FortiGate. Next we can specify the protocols that we want to inspect and any traffic that we want to exempt from SSL inspection. We can exempt reputable websites as rated by FortiGuard. Create exemptions based on 90 plus web categories available on FortiGate. Or we can even configure address objects based on FQDN. IP address or geolocation. Lastly, we can also configure options related to how FortiGate should handle connections with invalid SSL certificates. SSL inspection not only helps in detecting malware hidden in encrypted traffic, but it is also required to implement effective application control inside an organization. As you can see under the app control profile, there are many applications which can be identified only if deep SSL inspection is enabled. Functions like file upload or download to various SaaS apps and even most of the apps inside Facebook also require deep SSL inspection to enforce appropriate control. While SSL decryption is also necessary to prevent any data exfiltration. Once SSL inspection profile is configured, it can be applied to a security policy to start decrypting the traffic for content inspection. Here we can also enable decrypt traffic mirror feature to forward decrypted traffic to a server for archiving and analysis. For the sake of the demo, let's change the SSL inspection profile to certificate based inspection and see what happens when we download malware over the encrypted channel and also perform some activity which is blocked inside the application control profile. For this, let's move on to a desktop that sits behind the FortiGate. Here I have already browsed to an internal server hosting malware. And now if I click some link, malware will be downloaded since the traffic is encrypted. Similarly, if I go to Facebook and try to post something on the wall, this will also go through even though we blocked Facebook post under the app control profile. Now let's go back to FortiGate and change the SSL inspection profile to custom deep inspection. Moving back to the desktop. Let's try again to download a malware file. This time FortiGate will decrypt the content and detect malware. As a result, the download will be blocked. Similarly, if we try to post something on the Facebook, that activity will also be blocked and reported. Going back to FortiGate, let's take a look at our recent activity under log and report section. Looking at the antivirus logs, we can see the blocked activity related to download of a GrandCrab ransomware malware file. Under the app control logs, we can notice lot of blocked activity related to various Facebook apps. But to verify our activity, we can filter for the application name set to Facebook post. And here we can see the related log entries. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.